Welcome to On Writing with Ongaravile, the show that is aiming to promote reading and writing in our communities. We seek to restore the pride and dignity of Africans through the power of reading and writing. Ladies and gentlemen, well, help me to welcome Dr. Ntavisenra Duba. Today, who is here to share more on what she's doing to promote reading and writing in the community. Doctor, thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank you very much, uh, Ongarabile. I'm glad I'm here today. It's been long that you have been requesting me to come here, and I felt that ah, I'm now not a fit leader. <laughs> My pastor used to say, um, for a leader to be complete, he or she must be fed, meaning th that leader must be faithful, yes. available, yes. and teachable, or even to teach other people. Especially, uh, you know, regarding the work that you are doing. Yes, definitely. Yes, we really need that information that you have, the knowledge that you have, the experience that you have, that will really build our society. Thank you so much. Yes, so please, uh, let's just start by knowing you. Just briefly, you know, who is Dr. Ntavisen Raduba? Uh, Dr. Tyson Raduba, they normally call me, I, I remember my, my brother-in-law uh, used an acronym of my names, Tyson Alina Raduba, to Dr. Nar. Okay. So even at work, most of the people are now calling me Dr. Nar. Yeah, Dr. Nar, I'm Free State. I'm from Free State. Yeah, I did all my studies there from primary school until teacher's diploma and moved to the University of Free State and uh, UNISA, you name them, until I got my doctorate with um, University uh, of, 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 of Florida, in Florida, USA, in leadership and management. Even my education qualifications, yeah, my, my master's and my my Bachelor of, 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 of Arts, everything was based on leadership and management. But I ended up finding myself, you know, the challenges of life. I resigned my teaching profession of 18 years as an educator and head of department in the free state. So I resigned that and, uh, yeah, trying to fight life. I ended up in libraries. I ended in libraries and my passion was just, was just so hot. I had five schools in literally Puzwa district that I was running as a teacher librarian or in information work. I established libraries of most schools from the scratch where it's so depressing to see that, that the schools will be saying, we are, we are having libraries, but as you see, there is just storage. I tend them, I tend them with the creativity that God gave me. I tend those libraries, in the, those, those storage into meaningful and operational libraries. Mm. I'm very proud of me to say, yeah, I, I played a, a prominent role in uh, uplifting myself and to increase the, the love of, of, of libraries until I was um, employed by, by then it was Nukenza Damani Municipality before we merged with City of Tswani. I was employed there as an outreach librarian. Mm -hmm. Outreach librarian is the one that is promoting reading. Yes. Actually, yes. I was just focusing on reading, working with schools, working with clean anybody in the community. I was working with them. So tell me, how did you go from the one of the school libraries to the public ones? Because now, currently, you are you are in the the public library. Yeah. Libraries. That shift that that shift was 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 challenging because now, I resigned my teaching profession. And after resigning my teaching profession from head of department and trying to, to run the business, I had challenges. So I had to go back. I said, Lord, I've got qualifications. Why not? So I, 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 I joined the, the e-learning of the Department of Education, which where the school libraries were under. Yeah, that's how, that's how I ended up in the libraries. Then I applied. I started to apply to say, let me just apply for the, where they are post of librarian. Because now, here's I ended up being an outreach librarian in the municipalities. After that, there at Nukenza Batayman in 2009. And then I moved to Mahale City also as an outreach librarian from 2012. Yeah, I've been running those those, those uh, programs promoting reading within the municipality. I networked a lot. 
I knelt with a lot. So, um, I'm, I'm also to close. I'm also the one who came with an idea of, of spelling B in Gauteng. I remember when I came with this idea of spelling B. Actually, we used to do that in the free state. A beautiful idea. I came it and launched it in Gauteng. I met the officials of education department. We started that little boss, Busi. We started that program. It ran very well. And then everyone now is running it. The spelling bee competition is a, is another form. As I, I said, um, libraries are promoting reading in a fun way. We don't want the as if we are, we are in schools or we are having our own way of doing things. We play, but we are promoting reading so that um, our target group must enjoy what we are doing. The, I, I was coming to that point of of you know promoting reading in a fun way because mm. especially you. What I like is that you are involved in the public libraries, yes, especially definitely. in the townships, yes. you know, where yeah. most of our black people actually are. Yes. And we understand, you will agree with me, that when it comes to the culture of reading among us, the black people, you know, the research have proven that you know, there is that non-reading culture. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the fact that you are in the public library. So how do you guys, you know, make sure that you attract the people? To actually love reading, how 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 do you do it in a fun way, as as you just explained now? Um, what we do, you know, libraries caters for everyone in the community, from the unborn uh, users even to our our the, our citizens, the the, the crannies. We have different kind of programs. When we plan our programs annually, we try to cater everyone. We have programs every month that we are doing to cater everyone in the community. You check how is your community. If you check Mkhale uh, uh, City, we are, we are also having correctional service. It's part of us. We can't neglect them. It's part of us. So hence, we are having programs that we are dealing with them on a weekly basis at, at the correctional services. We also have our, our, our old age homes. Okay. We go there. We go there every week for, for, for our, our, our homebound uh, uh, users to give them books. They, they, they support us because at the end of the day, we need to report to the provincial libraries, the ones that are, are funding the, lab, the running of the libraries. So we, we, we cater everyone and we need to get stairs. We see, oh, these old ladies are reading a lot. So we target them and then Every month we take stairs. At the end of the month we compile our stairs on how the the, 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 the the books were issued and then what kind of books. Even when we buy books, we buy books according to the needs of our communities. You check if our you can as you can see our libraries are are, are, are so broad. So you can't compare a library at the rural area with a library in town. Mm -hmm. Their needs are different, yes. so we cater according to the needs. You can buy more of Africans' books in the townships. Most of the people are not doing African, so each and every area has its own needs. So hence, we involve our users to say, what kind of books do you need? So we have what we call the gaps. In, in Mahalasi, we call them gaps. They will fill in to say, this is, these are the types of books that we want, and then we try to buy them. Okay, but I, yes. I, I want the part of the fun way. The fun way that we are, we, 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 we are doing, uh, let me take just, just one program to, 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 to make you understand. For example, we have a program that we call it Wet Play. Okay. It's a wet play. I wish I could have brought some of those uh, 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 items that we use. Um, it's a wet play with different letters of alphabet. Those letters of alphabet, then they, we, we nicely put them in order. The A, the B, up to, you know, the 25, like 26 letters of alphabet in numbers. Then we come up with different letters of, we mix the letters, let's say for example, a boy. Then we'll just mix the numbers. We'll just mix the numbers and then maybe we have four groups, three, three of learners, different schools participating we okay. always make competition okay so okay. it will be this school maybe lingau maybe solo seha you name those schools around the city and then they will sit in territory and then the the coordinator of the program will say all right um i'm having these letters b they will put b and then y 
Y, they put Y, and then O. And then they say, build. Now they must build with. Okay. So the way okay. it will be boy. The one who got the right, and then we, we, we give them points. Okay. Right. That's why okay. I'm saying our programs are, are so interesting. Yeah. All of yeah. them, we don't want to be there and boring learners as if they are in class. It's for fun. And we are always say, with Mahale City, everyone is a winner. So after that event, we'll give them prize, the token of appreciation of our promotional materials, maybe school bags, the, the, the pencil, anything that will help them also in order to support the curriculum. Does that thing fall under the, the spelling bee that you mentioned? Or, it's, it's another oh, thing. Oh, it's another thing. Please, it's, please it's, 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 share, share the light with us about the spelling bee because I'm interested to hear that one. Okay. Um, spelling bee also, we also do it. In, we, we had spelling bee recently now at Correctional Services where we were, we collaborated with the province. We collaborated with the province. We had spelling bee, uh, we had word play and spelling bee, right? In spelling bee, also, they are going to spell words. They are going to spell, let's say, uh, we want them to spell the word walk. Okay. If you are going to spell the word walk, there, there will be someone who is the pronouncer, who's going to pronounce ways for them, for the participants, and there will be a timekeeper, and there will be the scorekeepers. So we call them, we give them numbers, and then they will approach the stage, and then the, the pronouncer will, will say, spell for me, work. So we always ask them, for you to understand, because some of the ways, are, are, you, you can write them with same you can you can pronounce them whereas they you write them differently so for you to make sure this word is, is this word is correct that you're gonna spell you need to ask can you can you uh, give me a sentence then someone will say i am working i'm working yes just to create an example so then the pronouncer will say walk w a l k walk Okay. Then we'll be saying, ah, oh, nice. That's nice, correct. Nice, right. Nice. Yeah. Yes, that's how, that's how we play in, in spelling B. And then we st we start with very, very easy ways. Yes. Because now, if people are not having a, 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 a good vocabulary, this game can just take 10 minutes. So we don't want that because it's for fun. Yes, so we we'll yeah. start with the smaller yanas, the simplest ways, and then we go to what you call the champions. Those will be very difficult now to get who is our our champion for the day, and then there's the second runner and the the third runner, and then at the end we give them prizes. Big, but they are giving them big prizes. They're giving them big. You, you guys are doing a very great job, and I mean, you know, I, I thank God about this 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 show because we, we need such such information. Mm. You know, I, I never knew about about such. We will <laughs> we'll invite you. Please, One day we'll please. invite you when we are having that event. You see, come and see it. How is it's, it's so interesting? No, it's, and, it's I mean, very I, interesting. I, I, you know, I'm and I wish other people can know about this. Not only you know, so that people more people can participate on this mm -hmm. because. One of the things that I've read, you know, when, when I was when I was reading about the importance of reading, is that reading must be fun. Reading, you know, is, reading is fun. Exactly. So that, reading is as fun. we have said, people must not get bored. It's like when you see a book, hey, this book's going to waste my time. So, but if there is a fun way of promoting reading, I mm. believe many people can participate yeah, in that. Yeah, yeah. But tell me about this one, another one that is very interesting that, that you told me about earlier. The one of teaching the unborn kids to read. You know, I, I've... Last year, it was only last year that I found out about this. I just had someone passing, talking about it, because I had an opportunity of working at the, at, the, at the bookshop. And someone came who was a customer, you know. And, and she asked me, said, do you know that you can teach the, your kid to read when, I mean, the unborn And I said, no, I've never heard about this. Yeah. So, I mean, you also are involved on, on such yes. programs. Yes, th th this is one of the programs when I joined a, 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 the municipalities, I found it. So strange, I didn't even know about it. It came from the province and then it was um, one of the, 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 the event that all municipalities must support. We are still doing it even now. So according to our plan as Mahal City, we do it in February. Every February we do Born to Read. Uh, we, we always collaborate with health department. We can't do it alone because now for us to get our target group, 
which will be the pregnant women and those that are the young women and those that are having a, a small children that are still in the ECDs. Yeah, those will be our target group. So then, then, then we'll, we'll plan around and invite um, a health practitioner that will also talk to the immunization, the importance of immunization. It's, it's a nice program. Mm -hmm. And then the parents will be there, the pregnant women will be there, will even mix it with exercise. They will also exercise as well. Um, yes, giving them tips how to read whilst they are having their babies in their, in, in, in their home. Yeah, you start there. They can listen, they know, and, and you must be, you must be frequent. If, if you are reading for your, your child, your unborn child at 10 o'clock, let it be at that time so that the child must know oh, this is the routine mommy will be reading do you know you can even play music you can even play music for the child hmm. you know i've got a colleague now uh, who is our reference librarian she she was telling me look i've been practicing what you used to preach this is happening mm -hmm. this is this mm -hmm. is this is happening it's happening so I used to read for, 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 for my child, even now when uh, the, the little girl is there, I'm reading as young as she is. And I was saying to people, no, we need to, actually the province was saying, we need to monitor the progress of the children. So now that we're having one within us in, yeah. in, in the library, yeah. we are going to see the performance of this little girl. What, how is she going to, to perform? Um, I checked something in the, in the morning to see, when you are reading, if I just I, I, I didn't catch those numbers. I wanted to give you the numbers. The more you read, the more the weights you will be learning. Okay. If if okay. you if 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 you read, they were saying, let me check that point. No, no problem. It's very important. I think I need to share with you. Okay. Yes, yeah. No they are saying, yeah. If you read one minute per day, you are going to have eight thousand weights per year that you will be learning 8000 if you are if you are reading 5 minutes per day then you will, you will have learned 282000 words per day mm -hmm. and if you are learning reading for 20 minutes per day then you end up having 1.800 million per year oh. so you see the benefit of reading yeah. so it's better yeah. if all of us are reading 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 we mustn't undermine that's why we always encourage our people to say when we we are at the events just read even just a bible mm -hmm. just read you can see if you can just read for five minutes you won't be the same again exactly you won't yeah. be i also want to share the story i think this one is very important to share with you the importance of reading um i remember when i was doing a uh, 16 days of activism we promote reading, observing the calendar days, right? Okay. That's another way of promoting our reading. So during that preparation of 16 days of activism, I remember I was in the city of Swan by then. I didn't know that I was undergoing abuse. But through reading, I was able to, to get a point, the chest pains that I was having, was because of emotional abuse. I was shocked. I was in denial. I said, what? It means I, I, I'm, I'm undergoing abuse. Then I kept on reading what are the, this, the impact of emotional abuse. You know, after my divorce, that pain was gone. Hmm. So I'm always saying, what about my aunt who can't even visit the library? Yeah. What about my sister? What about my cronies that are undergoing abuse and they can't even read? Yeah, so through reading, uh, when I was preparing for presentation for 16 days of activism, I realized that one of the effects of emotional abuse is the chest pains. I used to have a very terrible pain here. I couldn't even drink cold water from the fridge. No, no, no. I, I, I was just having terrible pains. Then I, I said, my goodness, I didn't know that I'm undergoing abuse. Then I started to say, what about my auntie? What about my cranny? What about our sisters that can't even approach the libraries to read? Whereas this abuse is, is, is a monster, is happening in our communities. 
that's when I started to 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 write a book, which is part of my my, my research. It's a research book. It doesn't talk talk to me talk about the uh, this man did dead. No, no, no. It's, it's advising people on how to see uh, when they are undergoing abuse and what to do. It's a research book. So reading is power. Reading will assist you to know who you are. And and I guess that's mm. that's how you know you guys are having this program of outreach. Yes. You don't wait for people to come. No, no, you don't. Know, but you go. Yes. And and usually you take the library to the people. Yes. You know that that's what I like about yeah. about. Yeah, yeah. We are programs. doing that, my brother. We are doing that. We also have what you call the internal programs. Internal programs are the ones that we are doing inside within the libraries. Normally, most of our librarians are calling it the the story time every week they need to report on that because now we must have a uniform thing of doing things yes. so we'll say every month you need to report which 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 program did we have with how many people at the end of the month we we add those numbers to say province as Mahali city here we are we have managed to 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 to, to, to do presentations to this number and with the following programs Yes, we we go out. We go out. We 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 have friends outside. They know we are having these people that are are calling them outreach librarians that are doing programs and promoting reading in in our in our communities. We have friends with school different schools. Sometimes we we'll even say to the schools, if you are planning to have something related to the library, come. We'll assist as much as we are getting funds from the prov province. We can partner with you. And then have these events together in a fun way. We have debates. Mm. We have debates. We, we, ha we have public speaking. You know the public speaking that once uh, 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 I loved that, uh, that event. It was when we arranged the aid correctional service in Gauteng. We partnered with, with correctional service in Gauteng. Um, we are doing this public speaking during, during Women's Month. Wow, my brother. It was a wonderful event. All the correctional service, ladies from prisons were there. And then the guys, some of them were, were saying, you know, I, even, even if I've killed that lady, but I apologize because there was nothing wrong. It was just a jealous that was coming for me. We give people platform to say what is within them. Doctor, tell me, mm -hmm. uh, if it will be the last question, maybe because uh, time is not on our side. Uh, since you, you spoke about the librarians that must report when you do the, the those programs, yes. Um, how do you guys monitor them? Because one of the things that I have discovered personally is that you know you'll go to a library and the people who are working the the librarian sometimes you see that they don't have passion about what they are doing. You mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. they are just there because of their working, which I believe that they must have that passion somewhere somehow so that they can also you know be helpful to to the users. Mm -hmm. How do you guys monitor that that part of you know making sure that those people are really doing their their job well? Mm -hmm. You know, one of the tools that we are using as Mahala City to check uh, whether our patrons are happy with with, with with the service that they're getting from the libraries, we are having a a, a comments book. So that comments book, uh, the users or the patrons will comment about the service that they received from the, the staff. If it's bad, they will just write. If it's right, they will just write. I always say, say to them, if somebody uh, 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 wrote anything wrong about you, it's part of helping you to say, don't repeat that again, mm -hmm. but better improve. Maybe it will be something that you are not aware of. Yes. By by that book, we are we are we are we are not saying we are going to shoot you. No, no, no. It's part of developing yourself exactly. because we are growing by mistakes. We are growing by mistakes, and then there will be that time where we are visiting the libraries, and then we we we, we have we also have meetings with the librarians just to discuss how are you coping with your staff, and then sometimes we meet the whole staff as as is to get, are you still happy? Because now, you know, during these things, uh, during this time of COVID, everyone is, is, is demotivated. Eh, most of the people are, devoted, are demotivated because 
uh, we are lacking some of the things uh, we don't have even the ppes for our staff and others you know but we are trying we are not saying we are the best but we have, uh, each and every house has its own uh, challenges yes. as you know no, it's true. each and every yeah. house has yeah. its, own, its own challenges there is i'm always saying there is a, a, a black and white pages we all have our black and white pages but we need to focus mostly on the good things that we are doing you know doctor as i'm listening to you you know my eyes are open and and i think sometimes when you look at you guys who are working in the government the municipality you know, when you look at you guys, we think that you are just sitting in your offices, mm. you know, doing nothing, mm. you know, uh, wasting tax uh, payers' money, mm. you know, as we, you. You know, we normally criticize. But, but my eyes are open now, as you, you mentioned such programs that mm. I was never aware about it. And, and, and as I've said that, you know, I thank God that you agreed to come to the show to share us, you know, to share with us about, about what you guys are doing. And then I believe that, you know, if people can, people who are watching the, the interview can really, you know, participate, you know, and, and we come together and, and promote the culture of reading and writing, not to criticize, you mm. know, as you have said that where there is a gap, we you know, we try to fill up the gap instead of uh, digging up, you know, more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much, doctor, for coming. Uh, unfortunately, time is not on our side and... I can hear you have a lot of information to share, but unfortunately we don't have a, a lot of time. But thank you so much for coming. Um, if if people want really to get hold of you, doctor, you know, if they want to participate maybe in such programs, they want to know more about about you, what you are doing, about your book, abuse. Uh, can you just read it for us the the title there? Walk away, abuse is death. Um, with the subtitle learning about the causes the types and challenges of abuse in a relationship you know that's another topic on its own mm. very powerful topic yeah. so if people want to get maybe the book your book where can they get hold of you yes i'm 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 i'm, I'm available i'm having a facebook page walk away empowerment npc is the organization that i've opened if you can just visit that page um i'm not afraid to give you my work number is my city number is 061 four six three eight zero six three you can also visit the liasa houghton south page as i'm the chairperson of of liasa is an association of libraries we are also there any day you will see the marvelous thing that we are doing as as houghton south including city of Jobek. you you love it you love those outreach programs that the the, the city of Jobek is doing they are doing very well. They are doing very well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching On Writing with Onkarabile, the show that is aiming to promote reading and writing in our communities. Please do subscribe to NOLU Unlimited Multimedia. Like and share the interview. Thank you so much.